Hi guys, it's Claire. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, today I'm going to do for you my USA haul um, video, or maybe videos. We'll see how it goes. I might have to split it into two videos. Um, now, if you watch my USA holiday vlogs, you've probably seen most of this, but there is actually quite a lot of stuff that I didn't vlog about or I picked up, or in all honesty, some of this has actually arrived back here in the UK, like I'd pre-ordered before I went away, and it's just turned up now, so I'm sharing that with you as well. I've sort of mingled it into all one big haul that needs to be put away in my craft room really. Um, if you've watched Shani's channel and her new YouTube channel you'll see that she's already done her USAA haul. As you know she wasn't on holiday with me but I brought her a load of stuff back and basically her haul and my haul was very similar because I brought the same stuff for her as I did for me. Um, yeah but I got a few extra bits and as I say some things that have been delivered. So I'll try and get through this as quickly as possible. We'll start with the paper collections. So I got the Fancy Pants Flutter Collection, 12 by 12 um, kit or collection, comes with some puffy alphabet stickers um, and some a normal sticker sheet and 12 pieces of paper in there. The Getaway Collection by um, Echo Park, Echo Park park a pirate's life and if you remember when i brought these if you did watch the vlogs these were all half price when i went into hobby lobby so fantastic price um this is by photo play and it's called family ties again by photo play the like a girl collection simple stories summer vibes collection authentic um is it just called seaside yeah seaside collection and I got a selection of wood grain papers. I won't talk you through all of them. They're basically just neutrals, wood grains. I brought a huge bundle of these that Shani and I split between the two of us. Um, so yeah, sort of a basic one, a whimsical one, you know, a natural, you know, a selection of wood grains. I think we got 10 sheets of each, maybe about 40 or 50 sheets there, I don't know, but just some basic neutrals to have in stock. These papers were all from those cheap packs that I picked up in Tuesday morning, which again, Shani and I have split between us. Um, so we've split the pack of Diagonal Stripe. I think this was an American Crafts one. I haven't got the label on it now. We've got a basic pink um, um, chevron, a basic pink stripe, a basic yellow stripe, which is actually double-sided. It's got this like sort of circles or pie chart things on the back, which I'm not so keen on that side, but the basic yellow stripe is nice. So again, we just split these. I think we've got 10 sheets each. The pack was a 20. Very, very cheap, really inexpensive. Nice to use as just a basic neutral. Three pieces of recollections papers, a black and white camera, a grey hexagonal, and music notes, very basic. And then we get onto the more slightly more exciting collections, which are the ones that I brought from Violets. Um, so yeah, they're, they're slightly nicer collections. So this is the one that I brought, which is from Pebbles. It's called We Go Together. So you've got the arrows on that side and um, paper aeroplanes on that side. I love you and pink dots, the little love hearts, and then a gorgeous little tealy turquoise colored dot on that side. I've got, let me just turn this up the other way, I think it's all going to be upside down. Some more of the Bella Boulevard Let's Go collection. I've got some of this here already but I wanted to add a bit more to my collection to use for our New York, my New York photos. Cameras, arrows, yellow taxi cabs and then just a checkerboard one, I'm checkered. The flea market collection from Doodlebug. So two pieces of 12 by 12, double sided, and the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Fine and dandy collection by Echo Park. Not much of this one, just a 12 by 12 cut apart with a blue on the back and a basic stripe with a yellow. The Doodlebug Fun in the Sun collection. Two pieces of 12 by 12, double sided. And then the ephemera, which I've actually split this in half. You did get 84 pieces in here, but I've actually, we've split with Shani. We had to argue about who had what, but it was, there's enough in there to split and make a few layouts with. This one, which is by Simple Stories, it's called 24 seven. So you've got the 12 by 12 double-sided cut apart sheet and two pieces of 12 by 12. 
We've got the collection from Echo Park called Bug Collection. Again, two pieces of 12 by 12, double sided, and the six by 12 sticker sheet. And then lastly, we've got the I Love Family Collection by Echo Park, and I got one sheet of double sided 12 by 12, chipboard accent stickers, six by 12, a six by six paper pad with 24 papers, and the enamel dots. So that's it for the paper collections. So let's move on to oh, where to go. I don't know, I've got it all piled up to the side of me here. The Hampton Art Stamp Perfect stamp positioning tool. Haven't opened it and played with it yet, but I've got this because I want to do a comparison between my Misty and this. They look virtually identical, but I'm interested to play. That'll be another video coming up. I'm interested to play with them and see if they work exactly the same or if this one's better or, you know, just see how they compare. So I brought that. I also brought, this is a little bit random, I brought it in um, Home Depot, or Home Depot over there as they call it, which is a magnetic tray, it's sold in the tool section, Alan was just looking for tools over there so I had to rummage around and found this. It's a big heavy magnetic tray, um, I don't know if you can see it on camera but two big magnets underneath the tray there. So what you can do, or what I'm hoping you can do with this, I'm planning to take it to workshop and have it sitting next to my big shop machines so that any dies we're using just get thrown back into the tray so that they're stuck in there, they're not gonna get lost, not gonna get thrown away by mistake, they're stuck into the magnetic tray. So we'll see how that works out. It's a good idea, but yeah, and hopefully it saves me losing any little dies. Um, right, back on to craft shop things. I picked up an EK Success Star Punch. Just one of the normal normal punches, but little stars on there. Some Tim Holtz Distressed Stains. Um, these are, does it have a colour set? Not that I can see, but they're all quite neutrals. You've got just browns in there. Okay, Jolie's Boutique Bundle. This is all from Tuesday morning, so very, very inexpensive. Just little bits that I picked up, just to grab some bargains, really. Some New York City flair, 99 cents. Um, this one's just travel, so you've got your little um, luggage and rest area, your travel card, a map. A snow, um, snowman one, so snow scene. One for London. I got this one, which is just a picnic set. Again, another travel one. Um, with a passport and luggage and then some ice creams so nothing amazing but for the prices I paid you know 99 cents or 149 they're a bargain for that and I'm sure I'll use them along the way somewhere um, oh there's another Julie's actually there the, this New York one which my dad actually found he was super proud of himself because um, he rummaged around on Tuesday morning um, and found that one for me Right, on to, what should I do? Oh, these were another Tuesday morning find. These are the Project Life um, page dividers. You get 12 per um, packet, reduced from $8 down to $2.99, $3. Um, yeah, I hadn't brought these for my albums before, but I've always sort of kept an eye on them and thought, oh, they might be quite handy to divide my albums up by their years. And at this price, I thought I'd give them a go. Um, yeah, so three packets of those. It was the only three packets they had on the shelf, all mixed colours, mixed patterns, but worth a shot for what I paid. And right, yes. some basic 12 by 12 album refill pages. Again, a Tuesday morning find. I can't remember the price, but they were... Oh, no, sorry, they weren't Tuesday morning, actually. They were in one of the shops, and I think I had a half-price voucher. They weren't expensive, so I just picked them up. Some different sort of alphabets and sticker and thickers. The seven paper, Studio Calico seven paper alphabet set. One of the Heidi Swapped Beautiful Words. Um, we've got Recollections Glitter Stickers in Silver. Heidi Swap um, Glitter Puffy Stickers in Teal. We've got three lots of enamel dots. Just the basic Heidi Swap ones. I've had these already, but I love them, so I just stocked up as I was there. Some Heidi Swap Gold Words. Two lots of Heidi Swap stickers, um, just with her, sort of from her floral collection. Another little Heidi Swap Alphabet set, which has got two sheets of Alphabet glitter stickers in there. Very nice. And then um, the Word sheets, Heidi Swap Word stickers. These are all sort of meant to be for use in memory planning or, you know, memory planner things, but they work fine in scrapbooking. 
and some Recollections um, cameras. Let's move this out the way. Recollection camera um, dimensional stickers. Some thickers that are called Wildflower, just some basic words. Love the font, nice gold, shiny gold, easy to use. Love this, I love you. Can't wait to use that. While we're on the thickers theme, this is the bundle of thickers that I picked up. So we've got Fitzgerald in sparkly gold, glittery gold. We've got Imprint in a sparkly, silvery, white, just very sparkly. We've got Root Beer in black. Um, what's this one called? It's Amy Tangerine Alex, is that what it is? Just a pink foam. Eclair in black. Um, pink Sprinkles. Kringle um, in black and white. Root Beer in the white, so that's the same, yeah, same as the black one that I got there. And then lastly, um, this is called Charm, which is a gold corrugated one. So a bundle of thickers. I mainly picked up, I think, a Tuesday morning, as you can see, $1.99. I got a feeling this one wasn't. This might have been in Hobby Lobby, I think, but all a good price and far cheaper than we can get them here in the UK, that's for sure. Another two Tuesday morning finds were these large 12 by 12 stencils by Heidi Swap. We've got a chevron and a sort of ooh, geometric circle-y type thing. don't know if it's got a name. No, I can't see it. But yeah, I've never used these 12 by 12 stencils before, so we shall see what I do with them. Okay, then moving on to... Oh, there was also these. We split the pack, Shani and I, so they're not in their original packaging, but just from, I think it was Michael's, I picked up these craft coloured doilies. It was a pack of, I can't remember, 50 or something, and Shani and I split the pack between us. Okay, moving on to my favourite things. Um, we bought some of these for Shani and I to share between us. It's their packaging that they do. They sell these bags. I can't remember what they actually call them. But I think you get 50 per pack, in four different sizes I picked up, which is just to clear, store your clear stamps in. So I don't know, I'm sure we'll want these when we do aircraft from next, give it a little bit of a revamp and organize our stamps a bit differently. I think these are gonna come up, come in handy. And I've seen a lot of people online use them and do a research between the different brands of bags you can get. And the My Favourite Things ones do seem to come up quite high up there. So I thought I'd buy some and see if we get round to changing their stamp sets out into them. I also brought, let's have a look, right, this is my My Favourite Things bundle, I brought the little boy superhero, um, I've already got the little girl one and so I picked up the little super boy to go with that, I brought the stencil which is a brand new one out called Star Grid, is it Star, Star Grid, yeah it is, mm -hmm. the happy birthday to you die. And this was the hugs die that I got for free. I brought the brand new die, um, which is called Tri Peekaboo Window. And I also brought the rectangle Peekaboo Window. I brought these three um, sets of dies, which are called Inside Out Stitched. And these are Inside Out Diagonal Stripe in rectangle and square. I brought these stamps because I've already got the dies for these which I'd actually picked up cheap on eBay a while ago but I never had the stamps to go in them so I picked those up they're label maker sentiments and then I took got two background stamps the diagonal stripe and the mini hearts so that was my haul from my favorite things I actually brought more in there which I can't show you because it's stuff for a workshop so if you come to my workshops we've got lots of my favorite things goodies to play with but I'm not sharing it with you on the video <laughs> Okay, moving on. Right, lawn fawn um, things. Some of this, are, I think actually most of this I didn't pick up in America, it had just arrived while I was away. I'd pre-ordered it and it got delivered to Shani or to my house while I was away. So we got the stitch borders, the Ready Set Snow um, dies. I've already got the stamps, but I got the dies. And I also picked up this to go along with the uh, stamp set that I've got, which is the additional words that you can put on the front of the snow globe. I got the Jump for Joy collection, which is a gorgeous little fox that I love. And then this big scripty words, which is also super sweet. Love, love, love the font on there. Can't wait to play with that. And Mama Elephant Hall as well. Again, mostly pre-ordered and arrived while I was away. 
the Christmas retro um, holiday labels. Obviously these arrived while I was away, so I'm not gonna be using these until next Christmas now, but I'm pleased that I've got them in my collection. Pandemonium, the, the other panda set, which is called Incoming Mail. I got the Woolly Winter set. I got the, are these just called mini tags? I think they're just called mini die tags. They're very, very small, but really sweet. And then this set, which arrived, I think Shani's already opened this and used it because it arrived when I wasn't here. Um, it is called, I think, is it called Madison Avenue or Madison Square dies? Comes with these label tags, a little label in there and this gorgeous um, stitched and scalloped rectangle. So that's my new Mama Elephant stuff. And then lastly, just a couple of odd things to share with you. We went to the One, Tel One Trade Centre building, so I picked up this pin which they sold just in their gift shop, which I want to use for um, my scrapbooking, same as this picture as I did a postcard, but I brought that to use in my scrapbooking albums. The Top of the Rock Observation Deck in New York City, which is the top of the Rockefeller Center. So I picked up this coin, again, just to put in my scrapbooking. And then we brought these magnets, just, um, you know, the usual tourist stuff. I think it was being sold, this stuff was being sold just as we walked over the Brooklyn Bridge. Um, and there was a guy there selling these magnets and I thought they'd be good for scrapbooking. So I picked up, I think that these are only inexpensive. I brought some and Sophie brought some as well, but yeah, fits to use in scrapbooking and memory keeping. And that is it, that is my complete America haul and bits and pieces that arrived while I was away. So that's all my new stuff. I've now got to fit all this in my craft room, swap somewhere, have a bit of a sort out. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed going through that with me and I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye guys.